They will be looking like that boy looking all right. You looking all right? If I must say so myself. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. Right, all right. What trigger man? Back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Then we got here. Hey man, it's Friday, it's late. I got about an hour and a half to get out of here. It's gonna be a rush job, man. So, hey, um, the video that you've been waiting on about the cap for the, let me say this thing right, Aero Pro. I kept calling it the Aero Star in the last video. For the Aero Pro A610. Today, I'm gonna be revealing which cap I used on the gun. It's back to the normal cap right now. I'm about to go mask up, mix up, and use the gun for the first time this gun that I used the cap off of. It's gonna be the first time using it, and um, it should go right, because the cap sprayed good on here, and this thing was putting out good, so the gun itself should be damn good. Oh yeah, and this is what we're doing. The Lexus, um, paint code 202, front bumper had a little damage. I'm gonna do a little blend. They don't wanna go into it. The owner of the car and the owner of the shop, that's what they told me to do, so I don't wanna hear your foolishness about blending, it's gonna fade in. But, um, yeah, so fender, what up, what up, quarter panel, and I think, yeah, it has some damage down here, but we're doing the whole bumper for some reason. I don't know, man. They want to blend the front bumper, they want to do the whole bumper here. I just do what I'm told, man, so y'all just uh, hush. But, so that's what it is. That's what it is. Paint code 202. Uh, it's a Toyota Lexus, um, Toyota Lexus code 202. So anyway, mass up, mix up, and it's gonna be a fast one, man. You know, rush jobs always like they come out good. You know, the ones you be trying to take your time and do all nice, something always mess up. And um, yeah, so a quickie should come out perfect. We'll see. Boop. All right, all right, let's get to it, let's get to it. You know, a couple of you guys, man, have been waiting on this one. I've been getting messages about it. Sorry for the delay. Things been a little crazy around the shop, but Got it done today for you. Better late than never. Starting out with my base here. Pretty wet, pretty wet. You know, Trigger Man get most of his coverage on the first coat, which had started an uproar with um, the YouTube paint community. But you know, Trigger Man gives not a quarter of a book. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm gonna do what I do. <laughs> yeah, I know. So again. Most of my coverage, see right here, coverage, first coat, it's cool, it's cool, you know, but um, yeah man, this gun here, real nice gun, very nice, well made gun, I'm not going to tell you quite yet the gun it is, I just want you to see how it sprays and see the results, um, and don't just skip to the end of the video because there's a couple little key things in here you will need to know, so don't be a hothead and skip to the end. Um, the gun has a very large fan not extremely extremely large but for all these little cheap guns a very nice fan the fan was so wide what was that 30 30 psi on the base yeah the fan to me it appeared to be so wide it made me um check it so you'll see in a little bit i'll put up a piece of paper and check the um the pattern the width and i believe it was about 13 inches nice nice wide pattern man um, yeah, very nice spray gun. Well made. Atomizes good. Good speed. It's not the fastest, and it's definitely not slow. Feels good in your hand. Yeah, and I know um, there's a couple guns out there like this. I, think, I guess it's called the R500. You know, there's a couple different brands that make the gun that remade it, but. This particular brand here that made the gun, you know, I haven't sprayed much of them, but I say this company here hit a home run, man. The gun feels good. You know, on that Aero Pro, like the knobs on it, they feel kind of cheap made. They're real hollow. They don't even have numbers on the back to indicate how many turns out, how many turns in. Okay, here's the um the fan width here. And I come in a little closer. Spray another one there. You can 
Let's see. Large fan. Very large fan, man. Yeah, it was 12, 13 inches. And even. It doesn't split in the middle. Real nice, man. Trigger man. Man, what are you doing with all the little cheapy guns again, brother? Man, I go away on vacation and come back and you still spraying this stuff. Man, come on, Trigger. Man, you're going to be the laughing stock of the damn paint community, man. Ain't nobody going to take you serious, Trigger. What are the 35? Oh, you're spraying 35 PSI on the gun, huh? I mean, it's a nice looking gun, Trigger, but man, come on. Why you don't spray with that damn Segola again, huh? Last time I was in town, man, when I watched your video, you sprayed that pickup truck with the Segola. Man, that thing is nice, man. You got a bunch of runs on the truck, but... Man, that gun was really putting it down, man. You don't need those cheap old guns, man. Ain't nobody gonna take you serious in the paint community, Trig. They laughing at you, brother. They're laughing at you, man. They're talking behind your back, man. Trigger with these little cheap guns. Vivo guns. Yeah, man. They got their nuts crossed up on you, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I know you think you're doing a good deed trying to help the DIYers, man. But, man, the pink community, they're laughing at you, Trigger. They're laughing at you, man. They're probably talking junk like, you know, that big, big bald head. <laughs> muscle guy trigger little big bald head funny looking guy man yeah they talking about you brother <laughs> yeah i don't think there's no friends in this game bro ain't no friends in this game man you gotta look out for yourself trigger so start using those big expensive spray guns and leave these little cartoon mickey mouse guns alone man yeah trigger on this one man you ain't got a goddamn paint suit on got the bumper on the car all this crap man cheap guns man trigger Unsubscribe. Yeah, the gun's putting down some clear, boy. This gun can atomize some clear. The gun has better atomization than the Aero Pro. 33 PSI. I started off with 35. It seemed like it might have been a little bit high. But I dropped it down to just a few PSI. And, um, yeah, I mean, you see the way the gun's just going on, man. It, it, it puts on clear good. Atomizer's good. Like I said, it's not too fast, not too slow. It's like a perfect speed. So even if you were a beginner, you know, um, it's not something you really got to worry about running too much. You know, I'm actually just taking my time with it. You know, going pretty slow and purposely. I could have sped up and um, went a little faster. But I'm just trying to feel the gun out. Like I said, it's my first time spraying with the gun. And, um, so I didn't really do like any type of rehearsals or any of that stuff, you know. Just you guys are learning the gun live right with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, this hit this here really got to me here. This here really got to me. Pardon my French. It's trigger. He won't like him when he's angry. <laughs> Man, y'all know how it is, man. Hmm? Hmm. I had an hour and some change to finish this thing and get up out of here on a Friday. But yeah, like I was saying, man, the gun spray is real good. Atomizes good. Feels good in your hand. I think you'd definitely be pleased with the gun. I know I am. If you're going out to purchase one of these guns, these low CFM guns, and you were trying to decide, you know, the Aero Pro or this. And also next, what I'm gonna do, since now I found one of these low CFM guns that I like, I'm gonna try it with the little compressor. I'm gonna use it with the little DeWalt compressor that I did. Um, which gun did I spray with that DeWalt compressor? No, it was the Aero, it was Aero, Aero Pro. Yeah, I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna use this gun with that little compressor. And that'll let us know, you know, that'll let me know where it's at with the CFM, you know. And again, on this rear bumper, there were a couple dents still on it. So when you see that, you know, don't be like, oh, look, you missed a dent. Like, I know that, you know. 
the owner know that <laughs> owner of the vehicle owner of the shop everybody know that you, know? you didn't um point out something that was so <laughs> hidden you did but yeah i'm gonna use this that's the next project man i'm gonna use this on that little compressor and that was a six gallon something like that but the little dewalt compressor the little yellow compressor I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this gun on that and we'll see how that does that's the next test that'll tell us what's what Trigger man, can you shoot something for me? All right, we got it done, we got it done. This is what we looking like. This is what we looking like. That boy looking all right. You looking all right? Hey, my mother says hold myself. Yo, yo, yo. I see, yo. Oh, yeah, boy. Thing looking nice, he looking nice. He looking nice, don't get it twisted now. Don't get it twisted. He looking nice. Looking nice. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Hey, so yeah, so the gun is the Eastwood. Eastwood Conquerus LT100. Let me see, let me see, let me get that in. I gotta get that in there. Get it in there so they know what it is. Hey, what it is there, man. Eastwood. And um, I believe they, get, they got a whole bunch of different makes of this gun, like a whole bunch of different companies make it. I think it's R500 or something. I know you guys out there correct me. Remember, I'm new to this LVLP spray gun thing. So, um, but yeah, I don't know how those other guns are, but I can tell you this gun here, I've never used this company, Eastwood, for anything, but the gun is nice. It's a nice, well-made gun. Um, you can tell when you hold it, it's not no cheap. That Aero Pro spray gun, it just feels light and cheapy and hollow, all the knobs and everything. I mean, this one here even has the numbers on there for you. That other gun, I had to mark it. So I feel like it's a well-made gun. It sprays good, damn good. I mean, you can't really, you know, for a hundred dollar gun, or the gun was a hundred bucks. That other gun, that Aero Pro was, I think it was like $80. It was 80 bucks for that. And um, if you're gonna start from scratch, you don't have neither of these guns, definitely go with this. Definitely go with this. This is a low, a uh, low CFM gun, supposedly, just like the other one. You know, that I can't, I can't, I don't know the difference on all of that stuff. You know, I'm just telling you guys how it sprays and that's what's in the, in the booklet that comes with it, the low CFM guns. I think it's 4.5 or four or something like that. You know, so don't hold me to none of that. All I do is take these guns and I let you know if it can put out some good finishes. And this can, you know. So I, I, I tell you guys what I know. I don't go talking a whole bunch of jibber jabber just to get likes or just to get views or something, you know. You know, I don't know about the CFM part. A lot of guys were saying that these guns don't, they still drain the compressor. You know, I don't know, man. Y'all gotta do, see somebody for that. You know what I mean? UPK or something, I don't know, somebody. But all Trigger Man do, really, I get these guns, man. You guys ask me about them. And I tell you if they can put down, you know, and that's what I'm always going to do for you guys. If the gun sprays crappy, like the Aero Pro, everybody would say, oh, it's a good gun. I get good finishes, da, da, da. I didn't see it, man. You know what I mean? And I told it like it was, you know. If the gun has it in it, I can get it out of it. You know what I mean? If the gun is capable, I can make it do it. You know what I mean? I know that with any gun. If it's in there. If it ain't in there, it ain't in there, and I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Or if you gotta work 10 times harder to make a gun spray decent, you know, I'ma tell you, you know what I mean? So, and that's what it is, man. So I say the gun is 100 bucks. I'ma leave a link for it, link in the description. And if you wanna pick one up, you know, pick one up. Real nice gun. It almost reminds me of my Iwata, you know, the way these, the way these knobs are, the LPH 400. Even this cap, you know, this cap, this cap, 
the LPH 400 cap fits right on here, as well as the Aero Pro. So you know, they're making all these guns. They all look like they're interchangeable with something. But anyway, man, so uh, today, Friday, I'm going to work on this video tonight. I'm going to try to get it out tonight. I doubt it. But if not, worst case, y'all have it Saturday, man. And y'all have a blessed weekend. Thank you for watching. Catch y'all in the next one. All right, fellas. So there you go, man. The Eastwood Concourse LT100. That's the spray gun. That's the cap I used. So if you guys want to pick you up one, there'll be a link in the description. Or if you want a cap, maybe you can contact the company, see if they sell just the cap itself, like a replacement cap or something. But it's definitely an upgrade if you already have that Aero Pro spray gun. Definitely an upgrade. A hundred percent, man. You know, or maybe you want to get this one in, ad in addition and then swap the cap out in between. You know, maybe use your other gun for base and this for clear. However you want to do it, you figure it out. But um, thank you guys for watching, man. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay safe. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend. And as always, please tell his girlfriend. Peace.